And now, suspense. David, what time is it? It's almost daylight. What happened? Emergency in 32B. Loser. Ted operate? He helped. Well, then he's, uh, he's going to drive you back to town? Well, he's washing up. As soon as he's ready, we'll go. Well, I wish you two a lovely ride in the dawn. Thank you, David. Kiss me. I will not. I want to see if your lips have changed. Oh, stop it, David. I've got work to do. Okay. You know, if you kissed me just once the way you used to, I'd be a good little gentleman and let you go. You promise you won't make a scene? Promise. If you kiss me the way you used to. That isn't the way you used to. That you're frightened me. Do I? That's good. Randy! Randy! Hey, Randy, where are you? Hey, honey, where you been? Well, I, I had some prescriptions to fill out. Hey, what's the matter with you? Oh, nothing, nothing, darling. I'm just tired, that's all. Tired? You don't look tired to me. You look upset. Look, we'd better get started if you're going to drive me into town. Randy, what's wrong? Come on, David, I'll miss my train. Randy, I can tell by your face something's happened to you. Now, what is it? Well, hello, how are you? Oh, well, I see you're off now. <clears throat> David. I uh, forgot to give you my share of the rent. Here. And don't wait dinner for me. By the time I get Randy on the train and back here... Okay, and... I'll eat that steak by myself. Come on, Ted. Yeah. Bye, Randy. Hurry back. Watch it, Walter. Watch it. Now, come on. Hey, Doc. I hear them two, they're going to get spliced. Is that so? Hmm? Oh. How should I know? Well, you're his best friend, ain't you? Yeah. Randy, get back yet? No, she, uh, she'll be back this evening. She goes on duty at midnight. Dave, I heard of something about you the day at the hospital, but I, I didn't want to mention it at the time. Oh? Shirt and tail out? Egg on the face? <laughs> Lipstick. What? I trust that has no special significance, Dave. Oh. Well, I wouldn't trust too much. No? No. Come in. Thanks. Oh, for you, Ted, from Randy. For me? Why, she should find me anything when she's coming back tonight. It looks like candy. Yeah? I guess it does. A little Randy made candy all by all. Hmm. It might be. <laughs> hey. Look at that, dearest Ted. Sweetheart, promise me you'll eat every one of... 
of these. I made them all with my own little hands just for you, love, Randy. See? Yeah. There. Oh, they look good. Mm. Yeah, well, don't, yeah, well, don't let me stop. Go on. Well, then there's coconut inside. Yeah. Sure. There. How about you? No, not in the morning, honey. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what? Piggy, piggy, piggy. Yes, Susie. There you go, Daisy. Catch it. I know this candy tastes kind of funny. You know, just because. You seem to forget that Randy used to be my gal. All during the war, remember? Is that my tie? Yeah. Okay, if you meet her and you bowl her over. But it's a free world, you know. Just because she fell for you doesn't mean that I'm gonna make sweet music on a second fiddle. morning. I didn't send anything. Yes, there was a note from you, from Ann Arbor. Oh. Oh. David, what's the matter? I don't know. I feel like I nibbled a bomb. What'd you put in that candy? What's the matter? Uh, you better get him inside. What's the trouble, boy? Come on. Just cover the floor for me, dude. Dave, did you give me some of that candy? Yeah. Well, so did Daisy, the landlady's kid. They just brought her and then she died. The candy was that candy you sent me. Darling, I didn't send any candy. There was a note in your handwriting. Well, how could there have been? I don't know anything about it.
Every piece of this candy had enough arsenic in it to be fatal, Miss Sloan. Lucky Dr. Bonnell was at the hospital when the attack hit him. I'm glad to hear he's okay. Little girl, of course, ate more of the candy, so she was affected more quickly. Now, here's how the DA looks at it, Miss Sloan. At the hospital, you're the head nurse. You have access to drugs and things that are poison, including arsenic. Is that right? You think I did it, don't you? Did you? Of course I didn't. But when you're home for a weekend, you do make candy and send it to your friends, don't you? Look, does the man at the post office remember who sent the package? No. University town. Hundreds of young people mailing packages every day. You like corn on the cob? This was picked just an hour ago. Sheriff, why do you think this points to me? My wife grew this corn. My wife grows the finest sweet corn in this county. But the handwriting expert said that the writing on the note wasn't mine. Said to somebody imitating you. Well? Well, could be you imitating yourself, or it could be one of your two friends. But they didn't go to Ann Arbor. How do you know? Either one of them might have gone to Ann Arbor, mailed the package, and come right back again. Are you accusing one of them now? No. I'm just keeping an open mind. Sheriff, couldn't it have been some crazy person somewhere? I mean, while you're standing here accusing us, how do we know he isn't out cooking up some new way to kill? All right, I'll tell you what, Miss Sloan. You and your two friends get together. See if you can figure it out. You're bright, you're college people. You just work it out. When you come up with an answer, let me know. <laughs> Randy will never get you out of her blood. And so she'll never be happy with me, never, so long as we're married. No, I hadn't thought of it that way, but I suppose it could be. But of course, you didn't eat any candy, did you? Why, you crumb. Ted, if it had been meant for you, why would he have given it to the little girl? Oh, we could have a warped, distorted mind. You know what I'd like to do with you right now? I'd like to take that all-American boy face of yours and smack it senseless. like human beings. You remember those three days we spent up at Mackinac last year? What do you say when all this blows over, we take a few days and go back there? Shall we? Here, you guys. Special surprise. Cookies I made with my own little fingers. After you. <laughs> I wouldn't think of it. David, does that mean what I think it means? Randy, you had the key to the dispensary. All right, so do all of us. So what? What were you putting in that envelope the other morning when I came in? Oh, what was it, arsenic? If you must know, it was something to make me sleep. What's the matter? Your conscience bother you? No, you bother me. You think that just because I thought I was in love with you once, I have to be always. As a matter of fact, David, if it were anyone of us, it's more likely it were you because you're so selfish. All I know is, Randy would be a lot better off if either of us was out of the way. Oh, stop it! This is ridiculous! No, I want to settle this right now. Are you accusing Randy? I think you're both guilty and you both know it. engagement to Doc Larson is off? No. Where'd you hear that? In the cafeteria. There's all kinds of talk about how you two split up on account of some kind of poison or something. Nobody's told me. You mean you're going to marry him, huh? Well, of course I am. August 1st. Oh, yeah, that's very soon. I'll miss you. Gee, Miss Sloan, I'll sure miss you awful. 
Say, I got bad news for you, Miss Sloan. The DA thinks he's got a case to get you. Believe me, I've been trying to hold him off, but unless I can come up with some new evidence... Hey, mister, you mean she's going to hang? Walter, will you please finish your work? Yes, Miss Sloan. Say, can I have a look at your dispensary? We have arsenic in there, if that's what you're getting at. Well, I've been all over it once before, but I was home now, sound asleep, and I suddenly woke up and thought of something. Come right ahead. Make yourself at home. Hi, hi. Hi. Hi, everything okay, darling? Sure, I guess so. Except that I heard our engagement is off. Off? Oh, wait a me. Walter said he heard it in the cafeteria. Oh, that's probably some David stuff. Are we losing each other, Ted? Of course not. Why should we? Doubt. We doubt each other now, don't we? I've never doubted you for one minute. Can we be happy again the way we were? Of course we can. We love each other enough. Uh, David. Just on my way to the cafeteria. Uh, sandwich or coffee, anybody? No, no, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, you can bring me a carton of coffee. You trust me? You drink it? Sure, I would. First he socked me in the jaw, and then he trusts me. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need. An active face. All right, I'll bring your coffee. Wait for me. Good. I'll be in the lab, Dave. I'm glad you said that. Oh, I feel like a fool after hitting Oh, that's Mrs. Trumbull. Come on along with me and cheer up a minute, well, huh? I, I got some work to do in the lab. Oh, it'll only take a second. Well, all right. Watch it, Walter. All
that stuff for me down there, will you? Listen, you get out the six. Uh huh. Uh, spaghetti. Uh uh. Steak. On my salary? No. On mine. <laughs> oh, hey, here's a note. Dear Ted, here's to face restored. Bottoms up and down the hatch. As ever, hey. <laughs> Say, boy, here's to you and face me so. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to be in on this. Here. Okay, then, uh, let's see. Here's to each of us. Well, wait a minute. We're all in this together, you know. All right, let's make it for the three of us. <laughs> don't drink that. It's called don't drink that. Them other two can drink it, but not you. Not you. from Ann Arbor, didn't you? And you imitated Randy's handwriting. Oh, why? Why? Because he's crazy in love with you, that's why. Ain't you, Walter? He acted fast tonight because he believes what I said about your indictment. It sure am. Walter? Want to ride in my car? Walter? You like a ride in a nice new police car? Will you make the siren go? I sure will. Real loud? Real loud. Okay. <laughs>